your mental attitude. As a being of thought, your dominant mental attitude will determine your conditions in life. It will also be the gauge of your knowledge and the measure of your attainment. The so-called limitations of your nature are the boundary lines of your thoughts. They are self-erected fences and can be drawn to a narrower circle, extended to a wider, or be allowed to remain. You are the thinker of your thoughts, and as such you are the maker of yourself and condition. Thought is causal and creative, and appears in your character and life in the form of results. There are no accidents in your life. Both its harmonies and antagonisms are the responsive echoes of your thoughts. A man thinks, and his life appears. If your dominant mental attitude is peaceable and lovable, bliss and blessedness will follow you. If it be resistant and hateful, trouble and distress will cloud your pathway. Out of ill will will come grief and disaster, out of good will, healing and reparation. You imagine your circumstances as being separate from yourself, but they are intimately related to your thought world. Nothing appears without an adequate cause. Everything that happens is just. Nothing is faded. Everything is formed. As you think, you travel. As you love, you attract. You are today where your thoughts have brought you. You will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you. You cannot escape the result of your thoughts, but you can endure and learn, can accept and be glad. You will always come to the place where your love, your most abiding and intense thought, can receive its measure of gratification. If your love be base, you will come to a base place. If it be beautiful, you will come to a beautiful place. You can alter your thoughts and so alter your condition. Strive to perceive the vastness and grandeur of your responsibility. You are powerful, not powerless. You are as powerful to obey as you are to disobey, as strong to be pure as to be impure, as ready for wisdom as for ignorance. You can learn what you will, can remain as ignorant as you choose. If you love knowledge, you will obtain it. If you love wisdom, you will secure it. If you love purity, you will realize it. All things await your acceptance, and you choose by the thoughts which you will entertain. A man remains ignorant because he loves ignorance, and chooses ignorant thoughts. A man becomes wise because he loves wisdom, and chooses wise thoughts. No man is hindered by another. He is only hindered by himself. No man suffers because of another. He suffers only because of himself. By the noble gateway of pure thought, you can enter into the highest heaven. By the ignoble doorway of impure thought, you can descend into the lowest hell. Your mental attitude towards others will faithfully react upon yourself and will manifest itself in every relation of your life. Every impure and selfish thought that you send out comes back to you in your circumstances in some form of suffering. Every pure and unselfish thought returns to you in some form of blessedness. Your circumstances are effects of which the cause is inward and invisible. As the father-mother of your thoughts, you are the maker of your state and condition. When you know yourself, you will perceive that every event in your life is weighed in the faultless balance of equity. When you understand the law within your mind, you will cease to regard yourself as the impotent and blind tool of circumstances, and will become the strong and seeing master.